All right, guys, this is Total Justice Gaming with a deck review with the Mamba. All right, go for it. All right, guys, we're bring, bringing you a new deck profile from the Level Up Heroes and Adventure Sets, and it's going to be an updated version of my night deck that today takes place in Indianapolis earlier this year. So let's go ahead and get into it. We uh, are one of us. We tech in one dra Calvary Dragon Rosio Nante. Um, he's a two-one-two, and he has this counter: choose a Dragon Knight or a Knight monster other than himself on the field. I pay a gauge. I can put this card from my hand or field into his soul. If it's in the soul of a Knight or Dragon, it gives a critical plus one and soul. Line. So this card is just kind of used to save like one of our monsters that we want to be kept on the board. And just gives it an extra crit for extra damage push. That's really all this is for. Next we play two DT Age Envoy Michaelis. He's a 3 2 1. Um, effect when he enters, put three cards from my house on the bottom of my deck. If I have an item clip, he can destroy a monster. Um, so he's just control and lets me reuse like my shields and my mission cards. Next we play two, Knight of Glory, Elk Heel Attack. Uh, he's a 3 one, one when he link attacks with another adventurer, he gets uh, again, he engages. And then if I have an adventure item clip, he gets critical and penetrate. So the good thing about this is that we can stack it with our buddies effect by letting him restand and link attack and get with Tetsuya. Um, so he uses his gauge and he's also penetration and extra crit. Next are four new cards from the new set that just came out. This is Dark Black Knight Gaito. Um, he's a 6-1-1 when pay gauge to call cost. Um, when he links tech with any card, he can target a monster on your opponent's field, destroy it. They mill equal to his size and they take damage equal to the size and then we gain life equal to the size. So if you're playing against Neil's Rock, which is in all three decks basically, we can just destroy their cards with Soul Guard, gain life, and they lose take damage. Uh, this card is just one of the newest cards just came out that I'm really in love with. He is such a strong card in this deck because he's also a knight, so it gives us another target for our impact and our items effects. So we play four Gaito. Next is our buddy, two. he's a 2-1-2. Two, two. Uh, when you link attack, he gives something double attack. When you link attack, he gives a double attack. Uh, Tattoo's always been a buddy with nothing but six this man. He just lets us get multiple attacks and extra damage in. Hey, your video focus. Focus. Go home, nerd. Wilman, Knight, uh, Naboro, two is a new one. He's a 615. Pay gauge. If you have two or more other adventures on the field, he gains move and extra crit. And if he hits, we gain gauge and he has double attack. Again, this is just for extra pressure on our opponent. And it's another Knight target for our effects. Next play four to Camille. He's a 5 2 3. Pay gauge when he enters, so I can search for an item if I already have one equipped. And so if I have two items equipped, can engage um, this card, just gauge engine. And uh, when we're missing a piece of our item combination, he searches for it. Next is two new cards. We play Mission Card Adventure Guild Ivo Academy. Uh, you can only have one set counter speed. Choose an adventure on your field, return it to hand. And they call a new call a new adventure from your hand that doesn't have the same card name to a different area. So it's just let's get multiple attacks off. And if our opponent's trying to destroy it, we can counter speed return it back to our hand. Next we play two two Nazro Springs. Uh, pay gauge when an adventure is destroyed by battle, you can add two adventure attribute cards from the drop into your hand, so it just gets resources back. Two teamwork when you link attack. With an adventure, you put a soul underneath it. When it gets two, you add one to him, one to gauge and gain a life. So this just gives us, uh, lets us get gauge and get cards to hit. And next is four mission card form party. So when another event, another mission card is set. While this is set, you gain life at an adventure. So searches out your pieces, and it's pretty good when you go form party, form party, and just keep spamming them. Next is three pillar of fire pay gauge. Uh, if you don't have monster center, destroy a monster with six thousand or less defense. This card um, just helps us control the opponent's board and destroy unwanted cards. Next we play two glacius uh, defense wall. Pay it life. Don't find the attack. Gain a gauge. Uh, helps with gauge early on, and we didn't. It's a show that we don't have to waste gauge on. Next we play two Naboro Kodo. 
um, for every night you can either gain gauge or gain life. So if you have a full board, you can gain up to four or five life. Four uh, divine protection shells on them. Um, standard nullify, pay gauge, gain of life, nullify attack, and you can cast it if you have a monster center, so it's a universal shield. Uh, we play one and one of the old weapon, um, pay gauge, um, if you can equip this if you have this one equipped, this one gets 4,000, if this is equipped, this gets an extra critical, the other one's equipped. Um, this is just a backup in case we need high power. Next we play three. Uh, when these two are equipped, this gives you, uh, you can ping one point of damage when you link tag with the knight. When you link tag with the knight, uh, you can if you get to the short monster item. So this is for control, this is greater fix. And for impact, you play one dead and crush, pay two if your opponent's at three or less, and you have an adventure and an item on the board. Uh, they have no monster center deal three can't be nullified or reduced. And we play three of uh, the Night El Quixote Glory at Golden Age. Uh, pay three when it entered. Put it on top. Put it on top of a knight. So this is why this whole deck is nothing but knights because it's important to have targets. And when it comes in, you stand dry to make an attack here in the final phase. Uh, it has penetrating swords. Six three four. So that's the new updated knight deck. Um, I'll be back soon with two more deck profiles. <laughs>